हेलो एवरी ओन दिस इज समाप्ति एंड यू आर वेलकम टू माई इंडियन रेसिपी चैनल बेंगल खारी टूडे आई एम गोईंग टू शो यू अ फिश रेसिपी उथ मास्टर्ड पेस्ट प्रिपेयर इन टिपिकल बेंगली मेथड इन द इस्टार्न रिजन ऑफ इंडिया जेनरली पीपल यूज टू फ्राई द फिश लाइटली एंड देन इट इज कुकड उथ स्पाइसेस एंड अदर इनग्रेडियंट्स हियर इन दिस रेसिपी मास्टर्ड पेस्ट इज द मेन इनग्रेडियंट हुई विल एड वेरी नाइस फ्लेवर टू द फिश Some other ingredients or spices are also used to enhance the overall taste. This recipe is good combination with any kind of steamed rice. Let's have a look at ingredients we need for this. For 2 to 5 pieces of fish, I am using raw fish here. 2 tablespoon mustard oil, 1 tablespoon mustard paste, 1 tablespoon poppy seed paste, 2 green chili cut into half. 1 tablespoon shredded onion 1 tablespoon tomato puree 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste quarter teaspoon turmeric powder salt based on your taste so take a pinch of turmeric powder and pour on fish pieces keep remaining turmeric powder for later use also add a pinch of salt then mix turmeric powder and salt nicely Now we will fry this fish pieces slightly. So take approximately one tablespoon mustard oil on a frying pan. Let the oil heat up a little bit. Then put fish pieces on the pan with the oil. Be careful here with the hot oil as it will splatter as soon as we add fish with oil. Keep flipping fish pieces frequently so that all sides are fried equally. It will take around three to four minutes, and the end surface of the fish pieces will start changing into light brown color. We are not going to fry this too much. As soon as it is turning into light brown color, pick them up and keep aside. There may be some oil already left on the pan. Next thing we are going to do is add some more oil for preparing the gravy. Add shredded onion and mix it with the oil. Add ginger garlic paste. Allow approximately a minute. Then add tomato puree. Mix well with onion. Now add little salt, green chili, turmeric powder. Mix them together with the gravy. Again, allow approximately a minute, and then add mustard paste. Mix it with the gravy. Now add some water, not too much. Then add fish pieces with this gravy. Cover the pan with a lid to cook fish pieces nicely with the gravy. Allow four to five minutes. After five minutes, open the lid and check if fish is cooked. Then add poppy seed paste to the gravy and mix it nicely.
again allow approximately 2 minutes to boil without any lid on the pan this will make the gravy thicker after 2 minutes fish curry with mustard is done serve hot with steamed rice and enjoy it share this recipe with your friends and i hope they also will like it thank you for watching bengali curry